Hey then, welcome to another GTA 5 car review. And today, we're taking a look at the Ocelot FQ20. This will be an in-depth review of the FQ20. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip. We'll take a look at the interior next year. Take it for a brief test drive around the block. And just give everyone just an overall appreciation for the FQ20, as it is kind of one of the most underrated of the sport coupes in the game. So, let's go ahead and start up the Ocelot. This FQ20 specifically is one of my personal vehicles. So, if you use remote functions, you can go to the interaction menu and go to vehicle remote functions. Hit turn on the engine. You can also turn on your lights, neon lights, if you have them equipped, as well as you change your radio station. You can also open the doors by going one up in the interaction menu to vehicle doors and you're just selecting a door you want to open. This vehicle is a Torino red exterior with chrome accents along the window sills, as well as the uh, doors, as well as the uh, air vents on the side. Cloth wrap steering wheel with leather stitches, uh, red, with color accenting stitches in the center. Powers rider through a six speed automatic. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? We go ahead and fire up the engine from remote start. The FQ20 is one of the many coupes in the game, uh, including uh, I don't really know some of the names of them all, uh, including I guess the Coquette account, but uh, this is the only coupe that I've actually driven. Um, but the FQ20, based heavily on the Jaguar XKR, with cues and from what it looks like to the Ferrari 575M Marinello and the Maserati Gran Turismo. The FQ20 is powered by a V8, something different from most of the coupes, and appears to be pouring out black smoke from the back like it's a diesel. I guess it's just having an identity crisis. Um, so I'll show you where to buy these. I believe these are actually, no, they're not legendary motorsports. Uh, we'll take a look at Southern San Andreas, and it's not there, we'll go to um, legendary. So, you can simply go to filter list and go to two door. Um, let's see if it's here. There it is. $80,000 price tag. Um, the other cars in the class include the Fusillade. Uh, and I think the Penumbra would be in the class as well. The Ubermax and the XS would also be in the class. The F, the, oh, it's not an FQ20, it's an F620. My apologies. It has a six speed, as I said, 145 mile an hour top speed. With a $60,000 price tag. So, let's go ahead and pop the hood. You can do that by going to the interaction menu and going to vehicle doors, selecting hood. Power is routed like its original version, the real life variant, the XKR, through a five liter supercharged V8. Uh, it's real life variant produces around 500 horsepower um, torque uh, if I had it still up on my computer I tell you but I don't know it exactly right now I'll buy it at the top of my head let's go ahead and get a sound clip shall we I'm going to go ahead and shut the hood. The interior of the F620 is different from that of other vehicles we reviewed on this channel. As it is a very, I think it shares a lot of its similarities with the Rapid GT from Debauchi, which is one of the early reviews on the channel. You have a touchscreen radio, which is something unique to this vehicle. 
as well as the small circular air vents. AC is controlled near the bottom where uh, the camera can't go. You have a LCD kind of looking uh, control center where you can show your e-brakes, your lights, uh, your check engine light, your oil light, your gas light, your battery light, and stuff like that. You have chrome door handles with black, with satin black accents running alongside the doors. You have these red stitched leather buckets as well as small as a small bench in the rear. So let's go ahead and check out the trunk. The trunk can be popped similar to the hood by going to the interaction menu, going to vehicle, vehicle doors, and going to trunk. The F620 has a kind of hatch style door. You have uh, just a giant like box here where the bench seat is and a very small amount of trunk space. I'd probably guess it's around four cargo, four cubic feet of space in the trunk. You can't get a lot of space. You can't get a lot of stuff in here, but you can get something in. Go ahead and shut the doors. Let's just go ahead and hop in and take it for a test drive on the block. I'll get a bit of an acceleration clip as well. So that'll do it for the review. So that'll do it for this in-depth review of the Ocelot F620. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more from the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.